Hi friends! So this is not going to be the 5 minute violin lesson, it's probably going to be the 15 minute violin lesson because I will show you how I practice and how to practice the 4 octave scales. I'm using a book from Elizabeth Gillels and whoever does not have the book can write me a message and I will send you the book in PDF file. It's a really good book and it has everything included, the arpeggios, double stops, chromatic scales, everything. I have switched around the order of the arpeggios. I start with the minor, but that's totally fine since, you know, I go through everything anyway. All right, so metronome on 70, one note per beat, G major scale. to the higher positions, don't be afraid to make sort of a glissando in the shifting because you need to feel the distance between the notes. So, and you need to prepare your hand. The higher the position is, your hand has to be above, not from the side, not trying to reach you from here, but above the strings. So for example, yourself in slower tempo for the fast tempo. So that means you need to take up your hand and put the notes from above in order to be ready when fast tempo comes. You don't have to kind of like move your hand for every single note. So because you're already there. You're already there. You can reach the notes from above and not panic with with every move, with every shift. Anyway, let's go on. Now two notes per beat. four notes per beat. Per bow. I'm going to write this all down so you have it clear, you're not confused about it. Um, anyway, now the last, the last part is play the whole scale on two bows. I'm going to try to do that now. Okay, that's what it is. Every time Every time you increase the number of uh, notes per beat, 
you increase the number of notes per bow, basically, by two. So twice as fast, twice more uh, notes on the bow. <sighs> I hope I explained this right. Now let's get to the arpeggio. All right, so now let's do some arpeggios the same way. Metronome 170, one note per beat, four notes per bow. slow tempo because that's gonna help you a lot with speeding up what do I mean by that so you have the shift here and here so once you're here you have to practice these shifts a couple of times bring your hand out so your fingers are above the string they're right there there's no way you're gonna make it once we're done with the forward shifting now we need to practice the backward shifting we always need to know where our first finger is right so let's get to the top here's the first finger on G now my fingering is I go back from here into third position. So in the third position, my first finger is A, so I need to reach the A. That's the shift. Okay, so now I still have the first finger on, but I try to put the fourth finger as fast as I can so I avoid you know, showing that I'm playing A. So now let's speed it up a little bit. Um, we're using the same principle as for the scale. The tempo stays the same, but we're doubling. Um, you're gonna do two notes per beat, eight notes per bow. two bows. One more time for intonation. So that's how I practice the four octave scales and arpeggios. I hope that this video was helpful. You can do this on every single scale and on every single arpeggio, and it's very helpful and very useful. I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up, comment, let me know if you have the book. If you need the book, I can send it to you, and um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.